You want to know how to farm Risen Umbral Energy, is that right? Well, my friends, you've come to the right place. What's up, guys? Reckless here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to farm this much-needed material for helm weapons and armor in Destiny 2. And if you guys want to see more D2 content in the form of guides, class builds, weapon and armor recommendations for PvE and PvP, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Just so you know ahead of time, this is a farm and it is more like a little cheese that you may want to do before it gets packed. It's a chest farm. This cheese has been out for close to a month now, but I recently just came across it a few days ago. I wanted to see how reliable it was before I actually made a video on it, and truthfully, it is pretty reliable. This chest farm can also help you get helm weapons, including the ones with the red borders and armor especially the godly, godly peace of mind pulse rifle. And I plan on doing a video or more so a review on that weapon this week, so stay tuned. However, there are a few requirements that are needed before trying this out. The first requirement is that you have to have at least 1000 psychogenic intel. Reason being is because you need to open the right chest in PSYOPs Battlegrounds twice. Each time you open that right chest, it will cost you 500 psychogenic intel. And you can get these with the help of the upgrades in the helm or by doing daily activities in the game. Next, you need to be fast. Having a character with a fast dash and or a sword with eager edge or warline zero will definitely work. Hunters, stompies alone will not make the cut. I know, I tried, and I failed. So you need to have a sword, including with stompies. The last requirement is that you need to go to the helm and load up either the normal or legend version of the PsyOps Battlegrounds playlist. Why make this hotter on yourself? Go ahead and just run the normal version. And you are looking for the Cosmodrome PsyOps Battleground. You will not get the second chest to spawn if you just go to the Cosmodrome on the map and choose the PsyOps Battlegrounds that is next to Doc 13. When you load up the PsyOps playlist and don't get the Cosmodrome, then go ahead and back out and look for it again until you find it. I found out that when you're flying in hyperspeed, you can actually open up the director and the map will show you which PsyOps is actually loading up. If you don't see the Cosmodrome map, then go ahead and go to settings, gameplay, and scroll all the way down to change your character, then rinse and repeat until you actually get the Cosmodrome. Once you get the Cosmodrome, do the mission as you would normally to the very end where you open up the two chests. Once they spawn in, go ahead and open both of them and then it's a race back to the divide. When you get down to the instance where the divide shows up, turn around and run back towards the chest. When you get back to the room with the gong, you will be teleported back to the chests and you will have about four to nine seconds to actually loot both chests again. This will give you an average of four Risen Umbral Energy each time that you do this farm. And it is possible to get more. I think that one round that I actually did this, I ended up getting five or six Umbral Energy. So I definitely know that it is possible. And I do this farm to help get a better chance at weapons that have the deep sight resonance, AKA the red border on them. When I focus umbral engrams into weapons at the helm. So that is the chest farm. Let me know down in the comments if this ended up helping you get more risen umbral energy so you can actually focus umbral armor or weapon. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.